Hi guys, this is Will, and today I want to talk a little bit about a question that's come up a lot in the comments, which is people who are high school students or in college thinking about a computer science program, and should they stay with it or should they get out? The short answer is, if you really like doing computer science as a field and you're interested in it regardless of the compensation, then I don't think there's any reason to switch away from CS right now. The big money that you get from FANG companies, that might not be on, on the table. But I do think that over the next couple of years, we're going to see a lot of people get out of CS, and then you're going to see people wanting to hire again. Some people might say things like, oh, but AI is going to eat all the jobs. Or maybe it's low-code, no-code tools are going to take over a lot of that. To a certain extent, I think that may be true. I think that the nature of the kind of work that people do in CS is going to change by way of analogy. How people do work changed a lot when you introduce computers or calculators that changes certain fields. The thing is, is that right now everybody's really worried about AI. It's going to just eat all the jobs. This sort of gets into a kind of a Pascal wager style bet. Either all the jobs are going to go away because AI and AI robotics are just going to eat everything. And in that scenario, I guess to a certain extent, it doesn't matter what you study because it's a social singularity. There won't be any way to map what's going on now today to that post-singularity event. If that's what you think is going to happen, then to a certain extent, just pick what makes you happy. So if CS makes you happy, then do it. But there's also a good chance that a lot of this AI stuff is peaking, right? One end of it, you have AI is going to eat all the jobs, in which case, who cares, right? Because if all the jobs are gone, it doesn't matter what you study. At the other end, you have maybe things get incrementally better with the AI stuff that we have today. If it's just an incremental improvement, that's going to require a lot of debugging and management and integration and deployment work. Having a foundation in CS is going to set you up very well for that. We just don't know. We just don't know what's going to happen yet. I do think that the broader macroeconomic stuff in terms of interest rates and budgets and job levels, assuming that the AI stays no different than it does today, I do think that then, yeah, we'll, we'll see in a couple of years, CS will come back as an interesting field to be in. I do think that when you're taking your CS program, you should definitely spend some time learning about machine learning and also how to integrate AIs and LLMs into traditional applications. That's actually a, a space that personally I think is very interesting. What are the limits? What are the boundaries? What can you do? What can you not? That may mean that doing a CS program might look more like taking more statistics, not just algorithmic stuff. One of the ways I heard this stuff described was deterministic and non-deterministic software engineering. And the idea there is that the code that we create becomes deterministic, whereas things like an LLM are inherently non-deterministic, depending on the temperature that you set. In that scenario, what you're going to have to do is figure out which chunks of work are best met by a deterministic traditional programming system and which ones are best met with a non-deterministic thing like a what we see from LLMs. It's making a good guess, just like a human would. Until the AIs and the LLMs are perfect, that means that there'll be this intermediation period. And that period, I mean, it could last five years, 10 years, two years. We don't know. Nobody knows. I come back to if the AIs are as good as you know some of the people seem to think, where they're dumping tens or hundreds of billions of dollars of investment, then who knows? It's hard to say. In the meantime, we have to put food on the table. And CS and the skill set about just breaking things down, algorithms, being able to debug systems, large systems that are complex and figure out what the heck's going on. Even if that's evaluating the work that's produced by the AI, that's still going to be valuable. It is possible that the salaries will take a hit. That's where I come back to, you know, you could make a living, maybe benchmark off of the same sort of living that you might make if you were an accountant, where you make a decent amount of cash. It's a sort of a a baseline job, but it's not going to the moon, right? The short answer is, would I say that you should still go ahead and do a CS degree or look at that as a potential career? The short answer is, yeah, in the near term, I don't think it's going to vaporize, but it also means thinking ahead, trying to be mindful about what this could look like. Some people in the forums were saying that I was being too nice about the impact of AI. They basically said, are you just, is, is, is our tech jobs done? Like, is it just over? And the thing is, is that today I still know tons of people that are still working in the field. They're making salaries and there's no way that the AIs or the LLM tech we have today could replace their jobs. It's just not, not.
about a thing. It's a bit like saying, oh, well, when we introduced refactoring tools, did that have a big impact? Sure, certain aspects of the work, but at the end of the day, you still have to do the work. Historically, one of the limiters for productivity was how much code could a team build and manage. A very large app might have been you know, a couple hundred files. Now it could be a couple thousand files. One of the implications of this AI and using AI for generating code is generating lots and lots of code very quickly that someone's going to then have to get into the weeds on and debug and analyze. And again, if the AIs are good enough to do all of that at some point to where it's just mass unemployment, then to a certain extent, we're past a social singularity. So I guess the short answer is, if you like CS, stick with it. I do think that it'll probably be okay. No guarantees on any of it, but I do think I'd, I'd say go ahead and stick with it for now if that's what you love doing. But if you're doing it just because, you know, your parents told you to do it because they think you'll make a lot of money doing it, don't do that. Don't do that. Same thing about would I go into debt? Would I put on, you know, 50K or more a year of debt to pick up a CS degree? Probably not. But if you, if you can balance out the budgets appropriately and it makes sense with a certain income level at the other end, then sure, I think it does make sense. I hope that's helpful. That's my kind of quick off the cuff for how to deal with this stuff. Leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments, of course. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that stuff. And I hope this was helpful for you. Take care.